get everyone be Asian day here one of my viewers from one of my videos requested me to have a look at this company called QGM now this company mostly makes adapters cables and port converters now the one that we're really interested in is the port converters and this is one of the things that I've been requested from my channel a lot is about docking stations or docking ports so this is why I actually went and reached out to that company to see if I can get any of the products for review now after a couple of months I actually did say they were going to send me some products but I have not received them yet after I think now about close to about three months I've kind of given up I then actually ordered the products myself to on your behalf to so I can test it out after two months of shipping it finally arrived in Australia so this is the 12 in 1 USB-C multi-converter port so I chose this one specifically because there is a USB-C and it passes power through it which means you can connect it to a laptop and it will charge the laptop to 100 watts which mostly 100 watts usually covers most laptops that don't have a discrete graphics built into it so that's pretty good and what it also has is triple monitor display now on the website it says it can do it for windows and for macs it's a bit iffy and that's what we're really here to test as well too so there is this one here is the two HDMI port and the display port one so this one here is under $85 there is also a VGA version as well and that's about under $80 now I really got interested in it because of its quality from the website and what it can boast it can do but really we can't tell until we actually really test it out so that is what I'm going to do with this video here besides unboxing it is I've got three laptops here I've got one Mac and two Windows computers now the two Windows computers one has USB-C with display port and the second one is a Thunderbolt 3 Windows computer so we'll be able to test it out in the three conditions there now I've got three monitors behind me so we can actually test it out in the free display now I don't have three 4k monitors with me what I do has uh, one 4k monitor and one ultra wide quad HD and one full HD now I uh, hopefully will get another 4k monitor in so I can test that out with you probably in another video there but I'll do what I can at the moment for you guys so First off, let's unbox this thing first. As always, I need my trusty knife here. Also, while I'm at it, I will be putting timestamps on this video here so you can actually skip to the different computers section that you will be interested in or which configuration you'll be most likely to do. And of course, so let's get on with unboxing this computer. Well, this actually docking port here first anyway. So as always, now I'm gonna try and find this top part in here. So let's just give this, I think it's that's foam there, which is kind of nice. So that's a pretty easy slip there. So let's put that one back and I'll just move my leg. Okay, let's have a look. It's very simple packaging, I think this thing is. So let's have a look at this. Throw that away. I think we just push this straight through. And what do we get here? Let's have a look what we get. So we've got that's just box down there. Okay, we've got a manual here. I'm not gonna really the manual there. And then we've got the docking port. Now this is in the foam, so it's not gonna get really damaged in shipping, which is fantastic. And it comes with this nice, really biodegradable plastic as well, too, which is nice. I like that. And this is it. Wow, the quality of it. So I'll just have a look at this. Now the feel of this quality is quite nice. I've got to say, and that's what always really amazed me about the website there. So I was really interested in that one there. So this has a very nice cable there. And I don't want that one there. And of course, this is USB-C at the end. Now, as what we've got kind of ports we've got is we've got a USB-C port here. Now, remember from the website, that's USB 2.0 speed. Uh, which we'll test that out later on as well for display more than anything else. So that's for the Macs. And then we've got two 3.1, not the USB 3, that's what it says, not 3.1. And then two USB 2 ports there. And then we've got on the side here, which is really nice to actually see that the net, Ethernet cable is on the end of it. And then we've got a HDMI port. And then on the other side here, we've got a full size SD card reader, we've got a micro SD card reader. We have another HDMI port and we've got a display port and this is the power. So this is the USB-C power which will pass through to the computer here as well. So this is pretty sweet and I definitely like the quality of this. Definitely nice quality for sure. I like that. Anyway, let's bring up first of all 
let's bring up our Windows computer. Let's start with the display port one. So I'll bring up the display port one first and we'll just see how that goes because at least we're going to start with Windows because that's what it really supports. Now I'm just going to just let you know the monitor on my left here which is probably on your right this one here is a ultra wide quad hd so it's a 34 inch one and that's running through a display port this one in the middle is a 4k screen here and that's running hdmi port and then the one on my very right which is your very left and that one is another hdmi port and that is a full hd that's a 24 inch there and first off of course let's turn this computer on here let's bring this up here all right, so first off, let's connect these things up slowly. Actually, I'm going to do this very slowly, ever so slowly. So let's, where is the USB port on this one? It's on this side here. So let's plug this one in here. Sorry if I'm on the back of you. So we're going to try. So I've got this plugged in here. So let's get this one pushed in here. So this one is, I'm going to chuck this one on this side here. So hopefully this one will fire this one up. Right, I can see it's fanning something there, so that's finding that. Let's give it a little bit. Yep, we've got something there, which is great. So that's one. All right, now let's get this on. I'll change it into um, extended mode very soon after I get this all connected up anyway. So this one is the HDMI, so let's bring the HDMI in here and then the full HD through here as well. So there we go. Okay, I've got all three plugged in. We're just going to wait a little bit of time for the one on the... I might have to enable that. Let's bring that across. Display settings. All right, it does see it. We're just going to enable it. I'm just going to split these two away from each other first off. Now, this computer is probably not the most powerful computer. Now, this is the Dell Latitude 3310. It's only got onboard graphics here, so we're going to see how far we can push this. There. Now, that's the monitor four. Let's see if I can get this one to extend to this one as well. Extend to this monitor, or hoping we're going to get this going. Keep changes. Okay, we've got one, two, and that's disabled itself. I think it's more likely to do with this computer here not able to do free so what I might do is I'm going to bring in uh, I'm going to actually close the lid to hopefully be able to give it enough power to juice to actually work on free so I'm going to bring in a USB keyboard and mouse so now I'm just going to close the lid here let's just see if I can boot all three monitors going here for this monitor here or well, let's just see how that goes anyway so let's bring this up I got one great we've got oh that's good let's just sign into this computer and we got free that's good sign there all right and they are in extended mode there which is good so let's kind of let me try and get to this one here identify one free and we're going to have a look at also how far we can push this as well so let me just kind of bring this one to its better oh okay so disk monitor on my right which is the third one which is this ultra wide it is not able to go past the 4k it doesn't go past the full hd for that one on this there so let's have a look at display one now display one it's a bit fuzzy i've got to say that now display one let's see how far we can push this one it only can do full hd as well on this one so full hd on this one full hd on this one here and let's see on this one here, of course, this one is full HD as well on this one because that's a full HD display. So it's not able to push the 4K here. So I'm going to be interested if I'm going to disconnect one of these monitors up. I'm going to disconnect this monitor up because supposedly it's meant to do 4K. So I'm going to disconnect this monitor up on my right. Oh, let's see if we can get at least 4K going here. Now, this is a USB-C display only. so. Uh, Thunderbolt usually be able to do a little bit more than that. Okay, so here we go. Now on the display two, can we get any more higher than full HD? Yes, we can. We can go up to full ultra wide quad HD now on this one, which is fantastic. So that's that one there. I'll keep changes for that. And let's have a look at this one here, which is the 4K one here. 
and let's see what we can do no it's still stuck in full HD mode there now in th which is a bit of a pity I thought it would be able to do more than 4k especially with putting this dual 4k really so let's bring in this monitor with this monitor and just w leave that monitor out completely so that's the display port let's bring it to HDMI ports and let's see if we can at least get this one to 4k mode let's see if we can do that identify one and two okay so no this is still running full HD there which is a bit of a pity there at the moment so my 4k is not going 4k it's only doing full HD now that's a very interesting sort of product why that's doing that we'll bring in the Thunderbolt one now this one's Thunderbolt and it's actually got a discrete graphics in this one here so this one has enough well should have enough juice for this now there is no drivers for this at all as you can see and we will bring this into line here all right so let's see if I can do anything good here what do we get Let me kind of bring this out line. So it's just waking itself up there. So, all right, we've got one, two, and three. And so far, I can definitely see just straight away, resolution wise, sound looks a lot better out there. All right, so let's have a look. Discrete display settings. Now we've got a lot of splits. So let's start splitting these things up. Extend. Okay, this one's brought itself back in line. So I've got four going. I'm just going to bring this one in line now they're all in extend mode all right three and four let's just bring that out into extend mode as well I'm just gonna bring I'm just splitting them up to the different extend modes at the moment so now we've got I've actually got four going as you can see but this is this one does have a quadro t2000 in there so it can run this all right, let's see, have my, my 4K screen. Let's have a look at what that one is. Now with the 4K screen, it is running in 4K mode, which is fantastic. That's fantastic. Now with the 4K mode, I'm just gonna quickly just check if it does a 60 Hertz or anything like that. Uh, at the moment, it is set to 30 Hertz and it's maximum can only do 4K at 30 Hertz for this 4K monitor at the moment in this mode here. And I am going to just quickly just to see if I can get push it any more better by having the lid closed so it's only really running free displays because we kind of want to try and get the 4K at 60 hertz, don't we? So I've got now, oh, I've only got free displays and it still is 30 hertz for this 4K monitor. So this 4K monitor is at 30 hertz and we will go back one and we'll just check on this ultra wide quad hd and it is set to ultra wide quad hd which is great and i'm just going to quickly check if how it goes with the refresh rates here so refresh rates wise for this monitor on the right is at 60 hertz that's good to see that that's going at 60 hertz and we will then have a look at this one here which i'm pretty sure on my full hd it's running at full hd which is great and i'm just going to quickly just check on the refresh rate as well so i've i've, I've got my back to the display here and it's running at 60 hertz max out at 60 hertz so we've gained their proper resolution the only pity is this 4k is running at 30 hertz not at 60 hertz but the ultra wide quad hd is running at 60 hertz there so this is a thunderbolt one and this does have a discrete graphics now i'm going to now bring up the mac let's have a look now the one this mac here i've got is i'm just gonna put that down now the mac that i've got here is a 2018 macbook pro with the touch bar and it is a 13 inch one as well now i'm just gonna bring in through this so let's connect that up and I'm just going to leave it in this sort of mode. I'm just wondering if I can be able to wake the computer up. We'll just see if we can wake the computer up with this. Now I do have 
the keyboard and mouse connected to the docking port here. So, no, it doesn't look like it's going to wake that up. So let's just kind of bring this thing along. I think it's, oh, there we go. I just kind of turned it itself off. Okay, here we go. All right, we're getting some screens here. Now it's all fully now at the moment mirrored. I can see that. If you can see that's just currently mirrored. Now let's see what we can do here. If I can split this up in any fashion at all. So display settings. So at the moment, oh, I'm just trying to work out which size, which arrangements. Okay, let's see, all right, display one and two. Sorry, I'm just gonna try and work out which way. Okay, it's this way here. Arrangement, so I've got two at the moment, which is the built-in screen and this screen here. Now I just wanna see if I can bring that down. I can try and see if I can get it with the port of it not going through here. I might have to bring in a power. All right, I'm back now. I've got the power. Now this is the supplied power for the MacBook Pro. So I've got that going to be connected to the power, which is connected to the back on this. So that will pass through power to the laptop. And hopefully, maybe we might actually get, I can hear it, it just went boom, so which means it's on. Okay, it just needs some power to go through it. So that's good. Now, we're gonna hopefully see some interesting things, see what we get. So it's still in mirrored mode there. So it is completely mirrored with one single display. It does not do two display there at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to start disconnecting screens so we can then work out how far we can push this MacBook Pro display. So let's first take away the full HD one here on the right here. So that's this one on this right here. So we'll just take that. So we're now on DisplayPort and HDMI on the Mac. Let's just bring, see what we get here. Just going to sleep. Okay, now we've got one we want ultra wide and that one, but we don't see any arrangements there. So it's still running as if it's mirror mode. And if I bring up this on my display, what do we get? Okay, we've got arrangement, which is good. So it does see one screen and the built-in display. So it won't split the 4K monitor in the middle. So what we'll try and do is, we'll, because we've got the, display port and HDMI port. I remember from a lot of my other videos, we might try and use the USB-C because Macs don't support MST. So you need another Thunderbolt. Now this does not have Thunderbolt, this QGM. So I'm going to see if it will it work through the USB-C port here. So I'm going to connect this one. Here's the DA, Dell DA300 I've got lying around here. And I'm just gonna connect that port up. And what I'll do is I'm going to take away this HDMI port, which is this 4K monitor in the middle, connect it up to this one here. Let's just see if we get any better ideas on trying to get this to do more than one screen or dual screen. No, nope, we've still got arrangement and it still sees, no, it still sees this and one and extends only to one won't display to a second monitor there and this one here of course is not going to work at all oh, let's try and do the display port through this adapter and then hdmi through here let's see what we get i'm just going to try and work out which hdmi i've got there we go do we get anything or we're stuck only on one display for the, yep, we've only got one display still. So as far as this one can go, it can only do one external screen for the Mac. It does not do dual extended screen for the Macs. So that's a bit of a pity. Uh, I just wanna try one more time anyway. All we do have is mirror mode for the two external screens and then you've got one screen so really in extended mode all you get is one external screen and that's pretty much all you can do uh, even with the lid close we can only get two so it turns out you do need to have a thunderbolt port to make the macbook pro or the max so you can have 
split extended dual screen or sometimes if you can get triple screen working on a Thunderbolt docking port. Now while I'm at it, I might as well see if you can see the ethernet port on this docking port as well. So let's just see if we can do that. I'll just connect that up and we'll see. Yes, it does. It can actually see the ethernet port on the Mac and I can definitely see it's also charging the Mac Book Pro as well with this pass through power, which is great. So this one is quite nice still. It, unfortunately, it does not do dual extended screen for the Mac, but if you're on the Windows, you can at least do triple monitor display. Now, as for making sure you've actually got uh, Thunderbolt is probably a good idea. With the USB-C with DisplayPort, we're only going to be able to do two. Even though on the Mac side, it can do dual external screens, but on the Windows side, it still did a decent job. So I still can actually recommend it. It is a very nice quality and it's got a lot of ports there. So definitely you can really use that port and the fact that it can do pass-through power as well. It is quite a nice, cheap, docking port there, especially for $85. I definitely can still recommend this port here. Now, I do have an affiliate link on it. I'll put it in the description below if you're looking to purchase this QG 12-in-1. They've got other ones as well, but the 12 one was the one that I went for because I find it was the most useful one with a lot of ports and also the fact they can do pass-through power. Now, if you find this video informative and enjoyed it, give it a like and if you haven't done already subscribe to my channel but hit that subscribe button bottom of the screen i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video